I am like a schoolboy when it comes to the we FA all Cup. Are. And, uh, and, yeah. and, you know, the degeneration of the FA Cup over the last decade, to me, has been like a sickness in my stomach. Don't let it go on. Manchester United pulled out historically, of course, when they'd become uh, treble champions. And uh, that was the start of the end of the huge glamour and huge interest that the FA Cup attracted around the world. And now we see the Champions League overtaking it. But for me, you know, a boy who was born into the days when I used to literally crouch behind my desk at the back of the school classroom with a little thing in my ear to listen to the FA Cup draw, which was usually 11 o'clock on a, on a Monday morning. To me, it'll never be anything but the most glamorous football competition in the world. Luther, your best personal memory of an FA Cup tie, please. Well, I think my, one of my best ever has got to be um, Watford at home to Sheffield United. Right. And we beat them 5-0, 5-1. Right. And I scored four of them. Wow! Back healed one of the goals as well. Yeah. That was another. Les, yeah. Ta- Les Taylor got the other one. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and how far did you go that season? I think we usual for us round about the fifth round or thereabouts. Fifth round or that we always got to the fifth round when I was playing. Literally almost every year. Strange then that the minute you left, you got, you to, got the to the final, final in 1984. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Complete Jonas. Who do, who do they, who do they play? Who did we play in that final? Oh, well, we won't go on about that. Yeah, we won't there, about that. Definitely not go about that. The, it was the famous final where, for the last time in the history of football, a centre forward was allowed to um, shoulder barge a, a goalkeeper. That's that right? right. And had the ball out of his hands, yes. Uh, no, he didn't have his hands on the ball. He had he? both hands on the ball. Well, the goalkeeper's <laughs> name, Steve... Um, Sherwood. S- Sherwood. He Ruined his career, that referee, I'm telling you. He didn't have both now. hands on the ball. But actually, uh, that was the justification for Howard Kendall bringing Andy Gray back to the club. Because Andy Gray was said to be over the hill. Of course, he wasn't. Came back and started an Everton revolution. Um, Flash yourself, what was your best memory of, of, of your involvement in an FA Cup tie? Uh, I think uh, for Southampton, the way uh, Swindon, we went 1-0 down early. So, giant killing was definitely on the cards. And uh, Not too far away from each other, Swindon. No, ag- again, really. it was packed house. And it was yeah. one of them where... Um, I, I actually got the, the equaliser and I didn't know until afterwards that actually um, my son hadn't been born yet and he was kicking like mad so the... Uh, the Hang on, the, let's the, get this, sorry, get this in your head. You, you, your wife was about... Or your, ex-wife, yeah. ...was about to expect a child. Yes. You were playing in the, uh, the cup tie. Yes. And was, were people giving you information or something from the sidelines? No, 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 basically it was one <laughs> I of... Know it, what you're I, I, knew, yeah. I knew exactly what you were thinking. <laughs> no, 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 no. Basi- yeah, yeah. Basically, um, yeah. I didn't know at the time, yeah. but the only part of the game that she actually missed was when the baby started kicking, she went down the gantry, right. and that's when I actually scored the goal. Oh, I and see. we drew one And off. what sort of a goal was it? Can you oh, yeah, it was a complete... Yeah. It was a header. It was a header. It was yeah. a header that actually got caught in the far post stanchion. Right. And I headed it from beyond the near post. So yeah, it was a rarity. Um, 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 what, sorry, what is a worldie again, Flash? A worldie is just one of them that you probably could try it a million times and, and it wouldn't come off. A on. worldie. John Barnes, American R score in that goal. Oh, or Trevor Brooks. So, so, so oh, yeah. does it come from the expression "out of this world"? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was probably <laughs> one of the best headers in my whole career. Yeah.